The risk management process entails of four fundamental concepts. And they, and they can be further broke down into more details. But here is the four basics. One is frame the risk, assess the risk, respond to risk in case it is needed, in case of a, um, an attempt, an attack, or a hack, and then continue to monitor on an ongoing basis uh, the risk itself. So these are the four fundamental bases. But before we even get to here, right, there is even more fundamental areas that you need to address within your organization to actually put a risk management program in place. And I touched based on this before, but today I want to get in the, into a little bit more detail on what you actually need to do. So it's asset management. That's the topic and specifically physical devices. And what I mean with that. So today I want talk about a little bit more detail on the devices themselves. So first, uh, inventory every physical device in your, in your uh, network. And any device to have an IP address to start with. And if you want to further break down this, you can say any device that um, process, store, or trans transmit um, any information in your organization. And later on, we see what is mission-based critical information versus other, but this is a starting point. And if you are a mid-size or small organization, you can do this as simple as with a spreadsheet, either an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheets, that should be sufficient. The matter is, the fact of the matter is you need to start. And if you are a larger organization, you can have a ticketing system or even better, um, have that directly create an item on your uh, configuration management database or your CMDB. Uh, so how you even start doing this process? So here we'll get into a little bit more detail. You can start simple as having a brainstorming with your team and trying to identify the classes of assets that um, you should be researching, should be looking for. I'll give you a few examples and it could start with end user devices, uh, laptops, phones, etc. Then you move to servers, which could be virtual server, physical servers, uh, you can include database or have a separate class for database. Um, and then cloud platform, don't forget that, all right? Even though it's not in your data center, is where information is being transmitted to, information being processed and so forth. So your SAS, PaaS, and IAS would be something that should be on your asset management database as part of devices. Now, the cloud platform, uh, especially SAS, you will also see that when you inventory for software. But we're not going to double dip on this one, either here on the hardware or on a software list later on uh, as a part of another video series for you. So once you have that, uh, you need to tie this inventory to a few um, uh, key information, critical information that later on you can recall and be able to assess in case of an incident. Um, in case you have to patch part of a vulnerability management program. So keep a few information that you need to have on that spreadsheet. That's basically the columns of your spreadsheet. One is the network address. Uh, you need to have that. That is your IP address. Uh, you should have your hardware address, which is your Mac address. Uh, machine name. Uh, data asset owner, very important. And department uh, of that asset belongs to. Those are critical information. Asset owner, in larger organization, you might have an asset owner, you might have um, an asset custodian, which is your IT department, you might even have a platform of software owner. So uh, depending on the type of your organization, that, that spreadsheet can expand in terms of columns, but the thing is, uh, that key, those uh, key pieces of information that you need in case of vulnerability scanning, you identify vulnerabilities who you need to communicate to so this can be addressed that is very important. Or in case of a hack or uh, any type of compromise, you're gonna be able to reach out to the key personnel that need to be advised or uh, alerted to uh, the event that happened. So along with these traditional IT devices that we've discussed so far, you need to keep in mind, also part of that team brainstorming, the non-traditional IT devices. Um, and here, um, it could be an attack vector as well. well. Here we're talking about IoT, Internet of Things. So uh, non-traditional, your HVAC system that is connected or your smart um, thermostat in the building that you work with that are connected part of your network. 
you need also to be aware of those. Uh, detection. So here is the most important, right? Detection. So how are you going to maintain all of this over time? There are several strategies. I'll, I'll point out two here um, that can get you started. And you can evaluate within your organization what the best strategy is for you. If you're a large organization or a small organization. From a small organization can be simple as looking the IP assignments on your DHCP server. What device got an IP from yesterday to today, from today to tomorrow, or which ones, you know, the frequency will vary within your organization, your resources. But for example, this week, how many new IP addresses we got assigned? Are these new assets? Um, and you need to investigate. Could it be as simple as that? Or you can scan your network on a 24-7 basis with scanning tools or on any periodic basis that you decide within your organization. That one also is a way to do is scan, identify the IPs that were identified today versus yesterday versus last week and see what the delta is and investigate that delta to see if these are new devices. Could it be as simple as these two strategies? And you can devise even more immature over time, but to get you started, that will identify the devices on your network that needs to be inventory. That is the basis of a basis the basis of your risk program so with those we get we get done with the hardware and if you can along this exercise start documenting the software if not we'll talk about this one on the next video